Oh, it's Christmas time, cuz. It's Christmas time, you know what I mean? Finally got me, I mean, a mod I always wanted. This was like the, the biggest mod that I've wanted, you know what I mean, um, for a minute. It's not nothing performance-based or anything like that, but I ain't gonna keep talking, you know what I mean? I'm gonna just show this, y'all. I'm gonna do a little unboxing. I'm gonna show me putting it together a little bit, a few steps. So it was one of these LED carbon fiber steering wheels. So let's unbox this, see what this thing look like. Come with the instructions and everything. Got some extra wiring in there for you. That's what's up. Let's see what this thing looking like. Woo! God damn, yo. I ain't gonna hold you. I wanted this motherfucker for a minute. That shit got the red stitching on it. Carbon fiber bottom and shit. The LED lights and shit. Yeah. It come with this little box right here that you plug into the OBD port. And this how all the information um from the car transmits to the steering wheel because um supposedly this is supposed to display like the uh miles per hour um what else man um your rpms uh your fuel like how much gas you got left man it's supposed to display like a whole bunch of shit so you know what i mean I already uh been outside starting to put disassembling and everything as far as the stem were well so uh shit y'all gonna see later on in the uh, video this is my old steering wheel right here so i had to take the airbag out take all these connections out so what i'm about to do right now is actually just um disconnect these plugs right here the white and the black plugs and that's pretty much gonna be like the buttons on each side which have to be transferred to the new steering wheel and the paddle shifters so let me finish doing that. I'm gonna show y'all some of the steps I did as far as like the installation. Then I'm gonna show y'all the final product. Mm -hmm. This motherfucker gorgeous, y'all. Shit was a couple dollars, but you know what I mean? You know, Amazon got the nice and firm where you could pay on it monthly and shit with the low interest. So I'll probably just rock out like that for like a couple months and then just pay the bitch off in full instead of like um going a full term i only did it for like a year so the payments is like man maybe like what 50 60 dollars a month i mean it ain't bad all right all right so aside from disconnecting the battery the first thing you want to do is you want to find these holes that's on the side of your steering wheel you got one here And you got another one right here. Right here. And you're gonna have to get in those holes. The best thing to use is a flathead screwdriver. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna hold it at a flat angle. A flat angle, because when you go in, there's these um, long springs that you have to hit to take the airbag off. So you wanna have to do one at a time. And um, I watched a few videos on YouTube and it's easier when you know what you have to do. Like I heard people saying that it, it might take them like a half hour to do this, maybe in close to like an hour because you don't know what you're feeling for. I literally did this in one minute. So um, I had both of those springs on both sides and what you want to do is you want to pull your airbag off. It's the first time actually I'm actually doing this. So you got a whole bunch of connections back here that you have to disconnect from the airbag from the actual steering wheel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect these. Then I'm going to turn the camera back on so I can show you all what um <clears throat> connections you have to disconnect but real quick what i was saying in reference to that spring that you had to hit 
it's right here. My bad, I got my finger in the way. It's right here. My, I actually have the screwdriver on it. So you're going to push those in on each side. So this big metal piece that you see right here is not that, but the skinny metal piece that's in there. You're going to push that in. Um, also, when you reassemble everything and you put it back in, make sure that spring is back on the outside part. Like actually pull it back out because you want to need that to be back out in order for this to stay attached firmly um, to the new steering wheel. So let me um, take these connections off real quick and I'm going to turn the camera back on. All right, so if you can see, you got four things that you want to disconnect first. You got these two pink connections right here. You got one here and one there. Then you got these two yellow connections that you want to disconnect. They're the two yellow ones with the orange and teal colorings on them. So you want to disconnect those. This one right here with all the different colors on it, um, that's going to be the main harness wire that you have to disconnect and actually um, plug into the new steering wheel. Because the new steering wheel is going to come with like um, a red, a black, and a blue wire. The blue wire you're, gonna, you're not going to have to use. But the red wire is going to be connected to, it should be a purple wire in there. They either said purple or brown. And the black wire is going to go to the black wire. So you're going to have to splice those wires. Um, these connections up here that you see, you got white connections and you got black connections. Those white connections are actually the ones that are connected to the paddle shifters. Um, and the black ones that are on each side, those are connected to the buttons that are on each side of the steering wheel. Um, so... Another thing is, before I do these connections, right in there, that main bolt right here, you need a 10 millimeter bolt that's gonna go in there to disconnect that. So I just grabbed that from Home Depot. You need a, a hex bit socket, a 10 millimeter. So you need that. I already got my wrenches and everything over here. Um, you're definitely gonna need an extension. So I got an extension because it's pretty deep in there. You can't get in there with like just like a regular um, socket. So I'm going to say uh, you're going to need at least about five, six inches, five, six inches of clearance for you to get in there. Good. So just make sure you just got a nice size extension for your socket wrench once you get in there. So let me do that. And once I disconnect everything, um, I'll turn the camera back on. Now we got the airbag off and those four connections that I was talking about are right here, here, this prong right here, and this prong right here. So one, two, three, four. And those two prongs right here and here, those belong to these two pink plugs right here and once you reinstall them you can't get them confused because they're actually different sizes and this yellow and this blue those connections they go to these plugs right here um the blue one tier one whatever you want to call it can't get them mixed up because they're color coordinated um all right so next thing you want to do is you want to take the actual bolt of the steering wheel off so like I said, you're going to need a 10 millimeter hex socket to get in there. So that goes in there. All right, put a little strength in this motherfucker. All right, so let me do this and I'm going to turn the camera back on because I don't want to turn the wheel too much because I want the steering wheel to actually still be straight once I get it on there. So I just want to do everything right. All right, so you're going to have to put a little elbow grease into this shit. I was damn near turning the wheel and all that shit trying to um get this shit off. So finally got it.
So that's the steering wheel bolt. Check this off. Throw this over there. And you should just be able to pull the steering wheel off straight like that. Yeah, so you're gonna be able to pull the steering wheel right off. Um, you got a couple wires that just need to go through there. That last harness wire right there, you wanna disconnect that first too. So actually, let me just throw this back on. Throw that back on, disconnect this harness wire. You might wanna use like a flathead screwdriver just to depress that little piece in so you can take that off. Um, I think these airbag wires, you're actually gonna leave on the steering wheel. So you're just gonna pull them through that hole. So. Let's push this in a little bit. Pull that right out. There you go. So that's your harness wire. And like I said, that's gonna be the wire that you use to connect um, the power in the ground to the new steering wheel. That's going to make the LED lights come on. So, I'm going to take this right off. Just feed these wires through here. Push these in a little bit. Let's turn them sideways and you can pull them right through. So, matter of fact, I'm gonna just put this camera down and I'm gonna pull these wires through and I'm gonna take the steering wheel in the house and we're gonna just start working on taking the rest of these pieces out. And honestly, from here on in, um, all you gotta do is disconnect um, all the bolts that's hold, holding the main bracket in, that's holding in um, all the wires, these white wires, black wires, and you know, the main harness wire. And that's it. So I'm gonna show y'all that when I get back in the crib. Now, next thing is this piece right here. This is kind of like the harness for the steering wheel bolt. You're just gonna lift this right up out of here. This comes right up out. Also, there are like five little bolts that you're gonna need to use like a uh, Allen key with. It's gonna be like over here. Two, one, two, three, four, and five. So I already took those out. Um, the good thing is, I think with the new steering wheel, they actually come with bolts already. Not bolts, but screws. And instead of using the Allen keys, they use screws. So you can just um, replace that right with those. That middle one, you're gonna have to keep that one for that harness though. Um, next thing is, before you can take this out, you gotta take all these buttons and everything off. So what you do is you go to the back side. Um, it's gonna be two covers, one on this side and one on this side. And these bolts right here, they actually hold the, um, the buttons to the front. So you're gonna need the Allen key for that or a star bit and for this one right here too and then after you take that off um after you take those buttons off right up under the paddle shifters there's going to be another screw too that's actually holding the um paddle shifters onto those buttons so i'm gonna show you all that too after i get those off all right make sure you got your corona on deck and shit you know what i'm saying this ain't hard, but it's just tedious as hell. So, all right, the next thing we did was we took those four screws out of the back. There were two, like I said, two connecting, one right here, and one right here that connected the paddle shifters. And when you took, once you took those off, there, there was another screw that you had to take off that connected the paddle shifters to the buttons on the front. So, all right, these are the buttons. This is connected to the harness, as you can see, that cord right there, and this cord right here. 
So that one harness, that big string, you're just gonna take that all off. this one big string right here one big cord you take that off these are the paddle shifters right here that's on the back make sure you be careful with these because there's mad wires back there and you don't want to pull anything from out of those um so with the paddle shifters you got a black cord on this side a connector and another black connector right here so you're going um, disconnect those so you can just use like a small um, screwdriver or something focus focus to press that in and you'll be able to disconnect those from the harness so we're gonna do that and from that point on um you're just gonna do the reverse of everything that you did to um, disconnect everything and you're gonna just do the same thing to put it back on to the new steering wheel so that's pretty much it as far as like disconnecting everything so the next part I should be showing y'all is actually having the steering wheel back on um like I said as far as like the connecting for the um, for the power they said that the purple goes to the red because like I said new steering wheel to have a red a blue and a white steering wheel not a, I'm, my bad I'm tripping um a black wire a red wire and a blue wire that blue wire you're not going to need but that this is going to be a positive this is going to be a negative the black and you're going to connect that to the power source inside of the harness so I'm not going to go through showing y'all all of that they got YouTube videos on that. So I'm going to just show you all the finished product after I'm finished with this. All right. All right. So we finally finished up with the steering wheel. Um, all in all, it didn't take too long. It didn't take too long. The actual installation for the uh, for the wheel was, um, was like fairly easy. Like I say, like on the um, level of one to ten, as far as like difficulty and shit, I say it probably was like... Phew, maybe a two or three for real for real. like this young was like super simple um it was tedious you just gotta have patience there was some parts on the car that was hard to take off like the steering wheel bolt but that doesn't have to, anything to do with the, like the actual uh build of the steering wheel i'm like really satisfied with the steering wheel um i didn't get a chance to play with it too much but you know just from what you can see man it is beautiful it's beautiful. Um, let me see if I can put the flash on. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, hold on, I'm driving right now. But, you know what I mean? Um, you can change the settings on it. You can change, like, any colors you want for the LEDs. It displays, like, like you see, like, I'm going, like, 30 something. It's actually, like, showing my speed right now. It shows the RPMs. Like, it's accurate with everything. Um there's a Bluetooth box that you actually hook up to the OBD port and that's what pretty much like transmits all the information to the steering wheel and syncing that is pretty easy too like there's two buttons on the steering wheel you pretty much just hold both of those at the same time and you know it just syncs automatically with the steering wheel so like I said um I'm really happy with the I'm, I'm really satisfied with the steering wheel man it looks good it's it feels a lot lighter than what the other steering wheel did um like you see like when you um like when you redline it like when you pushing it pushing it like the the uh the leds are blank on the steering wheel and you can even change that you can change it to you know when you downshifting when you actually want it to, to blink like you could put it like that you could set the rpms to where you want it to blink as far as like the first led the second led everything man like this like i'm man this is like really a good steering wheel it's, it's truly worth the money um the only complaint that i did have about the wheel i will say is putting the airbag back on that was a pain in the ass 
um, you gonna have to be like really patient with that. That's one of the negative reviews that I seen on Amazon, and somebody actually had a video of that on there, and they were saying like it was kind of difficult to put the steering wheel back on because um, you don't know what I'm talking about once you take it off. But those two metal clips that you had to depress that I had showed earlier in the video to take the airbag off that's on each side of the steering wheel um the design for this wheel it might have been off just a bit so you know um you just had to be real patient you had to take your time we'll put it back on but you know after like you know like a few minutes I was able to get it back on um and everything works now cool like you know like the horn everything works cool like uh it's on there snug that was like my only thing i didn't want to have it on there um you know not tight i will say this make sure that your steering wheel is straight when you're putting this on because if not your steering wheel will be off by a bit but my thing is i needed a bit of a an alignment already so, you know, with a regular steering wheel, it'll be kind of evident. But being that you have these lights and everything is truly centered on the steering wheel, you know, the uh, the fact that you need an alignment will be like more evident because your steering wheel will be, you know, you can notice it. Like if you, if you see mine, I don't know if you could tell from the camera, but mine's is kind of like veering to the right just a bit. And if I center it, I'm going to veer off to the left, as you can see. So, but um, aside from that, man, I'm like really satisfied with this. Like, I'll do like a more in depth review with this at a later time. But you know, aside from that, everything got on there cool. Um, I'm really satisfied with the product, and I would definitely recommend this to anybody else that has like a Dodge Charger. And it's not even necessarily like a Dodge Charger, um, they make these for all types of cars, so um. You know, it's not just Chargers, man. They, I seen them. They got them for Benzes, Audis, uh, Hondas, everything, everything. You know, um, Mustangs, all that, man. So, and it's I watched videos on like all of those, like installation videos, and it just seems like you know it's pretty simple. And the installation is uh, similar for the most part, especially for like American cars. So, you know. I'm going to wrap this up. Another thing. One more thing. One more thing. This is the last thing. Um, they do have the option on here for these LEDs to blink when you put your turn signals on. But from what I've seen in the comments on YouTube, somebody said you had to do like a update. And on that Bluetooth box that you hook up to the OBD port, there is like a, um, a USB port on there so you can do like updates like software updates to the um to the actual system so you know i'll be in contact with the manufacturer and see how i can go about doing that because that'll be something that i'd be interested in doing too like you know just having those um having those leds blink when i'm installing the um not installing and i got the turn signals on all right so i'm gonna holler at y'all later give y'all more review in a bit and i'll see y'all later Thanks for watching.